I would really love to see other allied health people step up and present their ideas and apply for fellowships and apply for funding because I think that we are a very cost effective workforce in the research space and we are very solution focused people and we can take and identify those problems in the clinical environments that we would like to study and also we would like to find solutions for and research is a perfect framework for that to occur. In 2014 I was very fortunate to receive a fellowship from the Department of Health. This fellowship allowed us to explore the use of strength or resistance training in acute burn patients and look at whether we can improve their outcomes in the short term and in the long term. So looking at um, reducing the burden on the patient in the long term, hopefully improving their quality of life and their functional outcomes, but all related to the fact that we would start resistance training in the early first few days after their acute burn injury. And I think that's really one of the primary benefits that I've found in our uh, resistance exercise research is that we believe that we're stopping some of the burden on the health system by getting patients to maintain their strength early on and not lose their strength so that we have, you know, so that we're not having to work so hard to regain their strength after they leave the hospital. Um, so that reduces the amount of time that they need to come back to the hospital, reduces our number of appointments, but it also reduces the patient's burden because they don't have to turn up here. We were able to show that the patient had no adverse events um, and we, we set this up as a what we call a randomised control trial where patients, we had some control group patients and we had some exercise patients and we were able to demonstrate that our patients had no adverse events doing these exercises in the gym, in the burns unit. We were able to show that their muscle mass seemed to bounce back faster than the patients in the control group. We were able to show that they were able to have better functional outcomes, particularly for their upper limbs. And we're still going through the analyses of their quality of life, but it looks like they have also demonstrated at three months after their burn that their quality of life has improved compared to the control, control group as well. So we're quite chuffed with the outcomes and what that will allow us to do as Allied Health is to take that message out to the community um, and look at applying that in different areas of physiotherapy. And certainly I've already started to do that working with the general surgery patients. And I know that my colleague who is completing his PhD at the moment, pulling that story together, will then become an expert around the world presenting his uh, understanding and our research results to our colleagues in Burns around the world.